is uh, Beyond the Gates of Antares. It's the newest um, boxed set science fiction game from Warlord Games. I think it's their first. Uh, as you can see, this is a uh, this is a big, thick box. Uh, they call this the Xylos Horizon. Um, honestly, it's thick enough that it's kind of puffed up there. It doesn't sit flat. Um, I'm, you know, really impressed with the, uh, the box art on the exterior. Um, anybody who's an old time uh, miniature gamer like me will notice that this is reminiscent of something very uh, much like another uh, science fiction uh, 28 millimeter war game. Um, you can see the back. There's a, uh, looks like there's a rule book in here, some sheets, miniatures. There's two factions, the Gar and the, uh, I forget what these, I think they're called the Concord. Uh, some markers and stuff. So we'll see all that stuff here in a minute. But anyway, uh, by the way, this is my first unboxing video. My name's Joe, and um, longtime gamer, uh, not very uh, experienced at this uh, at this video stuff, but uh, pretty psyched for this game uh, since I heard about it years ago in a Kickstarter that failed. But maybe uh, that was a good thing. Let's open the box and take a look. Uh, let's see, shrink rack is off. I uh, should, um, I should, uh, let everybody know, I guess, that, uh, this was, uh, purchased, uh, with the bonus figure of, it's a metal figure, or far talk. He, uh, looks like he's some kind of little alien guy. I think that's a, that's a gar when they're out of their battle armor. Um, anyway, kind of cool. Um, so anyway. Let's uh, let's open this thing up and see what happens. All right, taking the uh, top of the box off here, we have uh, more cool box art. Oh, for Hail Caesar, I think that's uh, Warlord Games' uh, historical miniatures. They're I think they're pretty well known for their historical miniatures, especially World War II. Now I have a few of those. Um, I believe this set is done um, by Rick Priestley. And this is unexpected. It's a very nice, very thick uh, hardcover rule book. Pretty dense. The art. Oh, some blueprints. Weapons. There's a miniature shot. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Artwork. Pretty good. I mean, that's pretty nice. Examples. Yeah. More miniature shots. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Uh, clearance for OH4. Oh, that's an interesting miniature. I like that. Okay, anyway, nice, thick rule book. Have to read that here in a second. All right, well, start reading it. Uh, Warlord Games. Warlord Games. Okay, cool. Little uh, thing. All right, quick start guide. All right, always like that. Get you started quickly. Um, there's order dice. That's definitely a holdover from, uh, what is it, bolt action. Uh, in fact, those look like exactly the same kind of bolt action dice. That's okay, They're, they seem very serviceable. I have some of those. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Um, nice artwork, good production value. I think those are the Gar battle suits right there. Looks like we have some plastic pin markers too, or some kind of uh, marker. Back of this is instructions for that's putting together a gar suit. Pretty sure. Choice of three hit. Okay, that looks good. All right. 
Okay, this seems to be the quick sheet guide. Let's pull back here, see if we can get a good shot at this. Uh, quick reference sheet, all right. Um, all right, well, we'll find out how to play it later. Um, I'm not so sure I'm keen on, I mean, I understand why they did it, you know, but I'm just going to cut those tabs off. I mean, hmm, Cuh, well, I don't know. Oh, here's another miniature. Oh, I didn't expect this. Let's see. This is, who is this? I don't know who this is, but maybe some kind of leader dude. All right. Well, anyway, cool. Bag of dice. This game takes 10 siders. I actually like that. I've, um, I think that uh, other polyhedral dice are not well represented in miniature games. And uh, gives you a little bit of a wider range to work with. Okay, cool. Bases, pretty large bases. Smaller bases. I think these are probably for the Concord and the other one for the Gar. Uh, or maybe not. There's a Gar suit, and it comes with its with its own base. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, okay, that's pretty impressive. Six of those battle suits. So you got six of those battle suits, it looks like. Uh, that's right, this game has drones. There's drones here. And here are, looks like a sprue of one, two, three, four, one guy's broken off there. I'll have to find him. Looks like one, two, three, four. There's like six guys there. Another six there with more drones. More bases. Here's the order dice. You can see the zoom in there. Yep, that's how you indicate what they're doing. That's kind of cool. There's a ton of miniatures in here. There's another six. Flying bases. I believe those are for the drones. Let's see here. Another six miniatures. Pin markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pin markers. And if you see, you can see here, if I can get it right, you can see they have little numbers on them to indicate, I guess, the number of pins. Twelve pins. Whatever unit's got twelve pins is having a bad day. Okay. Then we have, oh, here's that guy that broke off. Take a little close up, see if we can see what he is. Can't get it to autofocus on that. Well, anyway, once I get some together, maybe I'll throw a video together if this thing works. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so these are templates and looks like little markers. And so not cardboard markers. Awesome, I like that. And the temp, these templates, I believe, are have something to do with the drones. And then that's your ubiquitous blast template. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. So, again, there seems to be a ton. There seems to be a ton of stuff in this box. There is templates, pin markers, 6, 12... Uh, 18, 24, 24 of the Concord, I believe, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six Gar battle suits, all with extra parts. And all the bases you need for them. I don't, I don't know. So the Gars, the Gar battle suits have their own templates that are this size. I can only think these are for the drones, and I'm not exactly sure how that works. So, hmm, I'll have to look that up. So I wonder if they're just extra. Oh, and quick start rules. Oh, well, here, let's do this right. Quick reference sheet in this kind of funky, you know, case deal. Quick start rules, which are nice. All right, nice. Extra two extra miniatures. Okay, one leader dude for Concord and one leader dude for uh, Gar. Cool. And a really smoking heavy rule book. I mean, I can't imagine that this doesn't rule book doesn't cover all of the known army lists. Let's let's just take a look. Okay, so that's Bromites. I know them. They're kind of cool rock guys. So let's see. Who are these guys? I haven't seen these guys yet. Isaurians. Okay, didn't know about them. Uh, let's see, I think I've heard, I forget what these guys are called. Algorin. Uh, Gar. See, there's your battle suits. You can see those. And let's see, what else we got here? Oh, there's a nice pick. Who are those guys? Hmm. Here's your Concord army list. All right, let's see. Maybe they have a little rundown of who's in here. Four selectors. Okay, I don't know. I might have to do a... Well, that's kind of cool. I think I've seen that before. Some scenarios, match scenarios, and scenarios. Hmm, I wonder what the difference is. Okay, anyway, um, so here you go. This is Beyond the Gates of Antares. Uh, rule set by Rick Priestley, uh, produced by Warlord Games. Not sure who the sculptor is, but... Uh, you know, you can go online, check those out, uh, see if they meet your taste. One thing I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, but this is supposed to be more of a hard science fiction game, um, less of a science fantasy game. So if that is truly the case, then I think that the aesthetic for this you'll see is be completely different from a lot of your science fantasy games that are out there, popular science fantasy games that are out there. Um, I like those games too, but uh, I'm kind of in the mood for something new and I'm, I'm excited by this. Plus I've always been a big fan of Rick Priestley's rules. So anyway, um, my name's Joe. This is my first unboxing video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.